fixing the U.S. state borders. This has been something I've wanted to do for a while. And if you don't live in the U.S., I'm going to be doing this for the world borders pretty soon, so stay tuned. Uh, we have all the states here, and even some territories down this way. But I gotta admit, name one person who remembers American Samoa or the Northern Mariana Islands. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need them. Except Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico's cool. But the rest of them, uh... There we go. Much better. Alright, so first off, let's just go west to east here. Since this is where I live. And, uh, let's just say there's... There's always been some problems. So let's grab the line tool here. Split off SoCal. I'm gonna start that like right. Yeah, that looks about right. Perfect. Those abbreviations do kind of mix it up with North Carolina and South Carolina, but we'll, we'll fix that later. We'll get there when we get there. Oh, also, I never recorded it, but I also. Uh, right after the map was done, sunk uh, most of Northern California's coastline into the ocean. No big deal. Just this big city of Atlantis, that's all. It also kind of mixes up with Nevada, but as you're going to see, that will not be a problem. Because, think about it. What is here? Now here, like Las Vegas, that's something. That, yeah, that, that looks, that looks right. Now we're gonna split off this area, basically Vegas, and for the rest of it, I'm just gonna give it to Utah. Now for Idaho here, first up I think I'm going to let Southern Idaho unite with Utah here, which you know makes makes a little bit of sense, you know they're both both LDS majority areas, pretty, pretty similar geography wise, and the top area, I kind of just want to split lit this up like you know forget all the Idahoan identity you know like I yeah, forget that forget that you're split now this will also be the first US state to use three letters CAS for Cascadia I then proceeded to spend about way longer than I needed to making the Montana Cascadia Utah border really really weird and wonky like it was drawn by a five-year-old for no particular reason other than it's kind of funny we have created Deseret but should we wait till we get to the east it gets even more cursed okay now for this area so if you look at this area down here what do you have? Southern California, Las Vegas, Arizona, New Mexico. That, you know that that just doesn't that just doesn't work. You know those those places are gonna be fighting a lot. But you know the old saying Teamwork makes a dream work. I propose a Federation of the Southwest. So, you know how when a s new thing is made, most people tend to move on. You know, they rarely ever remember the old original. So tell me why, when there's a New Mexico, are still millions of people living in the old one that's just kind of absurd so all of mexico will become property of new mexico new mexican mexico under new management perfect no need for a southern border now, a United States government. Let's move over here next to it, to Louisiana. Oh my god! 
much better. Now Louisiana has control over pretty much the entirety of whatever goes on here. Okay, so if you look down here at Mississippi, Alabama, you can see how small their coastline is. Like, like, look at that. Look at that down there. Like, that's that's minuscule, especially Alabama. Look, an 83 pixel wide brush can completely cover the entire coast. Do that. Now Alabama has some room to expand. I'm gonna keep this little straight line thing going on all the way down south here from Florida. Yeah, that looks pretty, pretty clean, pretty clean. Now, for our next bit, we have to go over to Europe for a second. So, if you look over here, you can see that these are Abkhazia and South Ossetia, and this is Georgia right here. And it's being encroached on a little bit by the Russians. You can see these territories right here are being occupied by the Russians. Not to mention that a lot of their country is just entirely mountains or desert down here. Why does this matter in a video about US state borders? I think that now is Georgia's time to shine. And I think Georgia is going to become the world's first modern colonial nation. Some of you might know where I'm on with this. So Georgia, from its port in Pati, goes all the way out through the Black Sea, <clears throat> goes on down around the Turkish coastline, all the way through Istanbul and around Greece, <clears throat> around Malta, Tunisia, and Italy, around Spain, and by the Strait of Gibraltar, all the way out straight on down the ocean we're almost through the atlantic goes all the way right through the atlantic past bermuda and smacks right into the coast of georgia <clears throat> this sadly results in georgia becoming colonized by georgia so they can use the cotton fields of Georgia to their advantage. Remember when I said, those abbreviations do kind of mix it up with North Carolina and South Carolina, but we'll, we'll fix that later. We'll get that when we get there. Well, now's the time to finally deal with that. Classic, but it never gets old. Carolina shall be united. Now we got this nice, like, Car Carolinian Empire. And to make it a little bit even cooler, they're going to invade and manage to take over all of Tennessee as well. Man, look at that. Look at that. That's a... That's a... That's oddly phallic. Never mind. Tennessee, you're back. Let's move on to the Midwest now. I have a bit of a story to tell with Ohio. <clears throat> okay, I have a bit of a story to tell with this one. So, first of all, what really is right here in this area? With their newfound Pennsylvanian games, alongside some insane rallying in their own population, 50,000 million trillion people, they have their entire population rallying Ohio State jerseys and absolutely smack Detroit, covering it entirely with Ohio oh State my God. propaganda. They then move up the peninsula, and eventually it's too much for Michigan to handle. And this causes the capitulation of the state of Michigan to the Ohio.
Iowan Empire. As for a peace deal, we could see something like this line being extended up north, covering most of the peninsula between Ohio and Illinois. No, wait, that's Indiana. Dang it. Well, you know what? Just so I don't look like an idiot, Illinois and Indiana are gonna unite. I know geography, okay! But I do think in all the chaos, Chicago would break away and become an independent city-state. Oh, and also the Upper Peninsula can go to Wisconsin. Nobody likes this shutting up can handle here, West Virginia. Now, I could remove it, which looks fine. I think I have a better idea. There we go. That looks a little better. Now, Virginia and Kentucky, I don't like how this part of Tennessee just kind of like shuts out like, like this. I think this border should continue doing some funky stuff up towards here. And plus, we've made yet another four corners! That's cool, isn't it? Alright, finally, the Northeast! Where some of the, the craziest things are gonna happen. First of all, let's make Maryland look respectable. Like, at the very least, decent. A little bit of dang that looks fire okay what I really don't like about New York supporters is that look look it's not even up top here you have going all the way from like down here all the way all the way up here like it's a huge stretch of land but then down in the south they have like this this like one inch connection between like mainland and like Long Island, New York City, all that stuff. And I mean, considering that New York City right now already has some traffic issues, I think it would be nice if they had like, you know, a better connection to this stuff down here, like one of the world's most populated cities. You think it would be nice to have some connectivity down there? And let's be real here. This, this, this cutting, jutting out peninsula of Connecticut. Nobody likes that. All you're doing is bottlenecking New York down here. It looks like Connecticut is trying to strangle Long Island down here. Like trying to get it to submiss to something. Like, yeah, 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 join us, join us. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to be able to reach the rest of New York like that. <laughs> As of today, it won't be like that. Even though we've given New York a lot more coastline here. New Jersey's still kind of... Look, look at that bottleneck. There we go, that looks better. Now New York's got a lot more connection down here. While still having... Having New Jersey have most of their territory. But New York's now a little bit less... Less constrained there. Okay, Vermont and New Hampshire. Look at... Look at... Just, just look at him, look at him. Why even hide it anymore? Okay, this is this is gonna be a little devious here. So, so you know, you know Rhode Island, right? It's, it's the, the smallest state. You know, it's just, it's just, just right there. It's Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Why is it called? Like, I get road. Like, there are definitely a lot of roads. But why an island? Like. Anybody who's anybody can tell that that's not an island. It's especially confusing when we have already now two states that are literal islands. Since we have Hawaii and now that Puerto Rico's become a state, that's also an island. So, you might think that I'd lazily change the name of either Puerto Rico or Hawaii to Rhode Island, but I'm beyond. I feel like these two places can coexist, which is a little bit of work. 
through a $500 billion funding project and a little bit of elbow grease, we can build a little bit of a dam here around the entire state. Rhode Island has literally become Rhode Island. And just to make it clear that this is Rhode Island, all these little islands that are out here in part of Massachusetts, Rhode Islands can have those too. Because it isn't an island if you have a tiny little island next to it, am I right? Okay, finally just a few little housekeeping things. The Alaskan Panhandle? Okay, I got, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Let's, get, let's get out of here. Who? Who actually thinks that this was a good idea? Poor British Columbia over here goes all the way up to the tippy top, but just barely gets cut off from the coastline. And then it creates this ugly little jutting out part. Sorry if this counts as treason, but I'm sure everyone with a brain can tell you that just extending that small a distance isn't too tough a task for good old British Columbia over here. You know, after that, it just goes nice, you know, nice and straight. You know, nice, nice, beautiful, straight borders going through. What is this, Montana right now? Some nice, beautiful str- oh! Oh! That is gross! Is that a squiggle? So in protest, we're taking back what's rightfully ours with the southern portion of Vancouver Island. So if Chicago can break away as a major city, then I don't see why other major cities can't do the same. Miami! Yeah, you didn't, you didn't expect that, did you? You see, Hawaii has over a million people inside of it, which is crazy. But. They're all these tiny little islands, you know. You know, and, and considering that we, we already made we already made Rhode Island and you know all the New Mexican Mexico islands, you know, and getting the southern part of of a I forgot the island's name already. Probably a reason why we don't have it. We have a lot more islands now, so I think it might be time for Hawaii to do Take a page out of the Dutch book and do a bit of, a bit of, you know, you know, land reclamation. Just do a little bit of that and there we go. Now there's plenty of room for the Hawaiians to just, you know, roam around, have a have a huge area. Well, this was a cursed. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Check my social, subscribe, all that. See you later. Bye.